with its unconventional design, characterized by an angular exterior and exceptional performance, including impressive acceleration, the Cybertruck grabbed significant attention the moment it was revealed as a pickup that is about to revolutionize the truck market. But the appearance and performance are just part of the story. The aspect of revolutionization is far more comprehensive and includes the massive use of advanced technologies in its production, including ultra-hard cold rolled stainless steel, which should ensure superior durability and overall capabilities. Stay with us as we take a deeper look at how Tesla Cybertruck is made. Body Construction Besides the exterior design, the body construction is another highly distinctive feature of the Cybertruck. When compared to conventional pickups such as the F-150 or Ram 1500, the key difference is in the chassis, as Tesla's pickup doesn't feature a traditional body-on-frame design. Instead, it rather features a unibody construction, like a normal passenger car. Logically, you wonder how could such a design approach ensure structural rigidity that's on par with body-on-frame counterparts? Well, there are a few things about the way Tesla produces its pickup. First of all, it's important to say that this pickup is made primarily from a newly developed stainless steel alloy, referred to as 30X cold rolled stainless steel. Basically, the key feature of the material is extreme durability and resistance to dents. The construction, which Musk likes to call exoskeleton design, in combination with the new alloy, completely eliminates the need for a separate frame typical in pickup trucks. Instead, the Cybertruck uses the exterior shelf as the structural body of the vehicle, and that's pretty much the thing that provides respect respectable rigidity and strength. Besides rigidity, the new cold rolled stainless steel is also claimed to be resistant to corrosion, so we could say it aligns with Musk's ambitions to create a sustainable and long-lasting vehicle. Body Panels Just like the construction, body panels are also part of the technology that hasn't been used in the production of other pickups. Instead of aluminum or some other more common material, the Cybertruck features body panels made of stainless steel. More precisely, it's a cold rolled stainless steel designed to achieve the desired level of thickness and properties. So, once this cold rolled stainless steel reaches the desired thickness, it's time for making body panels. It's time for the stamping process, which is done by the large stamping machine, which we will talk more about in a few moments. This large machine cuts and shapes the steel sheets into the various exterior panels, such as doors, hood, roof, and sides, which make up the exterior of this uniquely designed pickup truck. Tesla has developed a unique method of manufacturing these panels efficiently with ensuring strength and durability and keeping them relatively lightweight as well. Of course, the exact details of the manufacturing process and techniques have never been explained in detail by Tesla, but it's easy to conclude that this process includes a combination of advanced stamping, cutting, and forming methods to achieve the angular and robust shape of the pickup's design. Speaking of the Cybertruck's exterior design, it really looks more like a space rover than a common pickup truck, but the similarities are there for a reason. Because aesthetics aside, the whole process of making the Cybertruck is in a tight relationship with the products of Musk's other company, the SpaceX. Namely, the pickup's coated stainless steel alloy is very similar to the one that will be used for the production of the new Starship spacecraft. Therefore, Musk's claims that the new pickup is bulletproof makes perfect sense, considering that it's made from the same material that was used for the interstellar spacecraft NK-1 prototype and will be used for future projects. Besides the steel, both the Cybertruck and the spacecraft also use glass bricks that can withstand high temperatures. Tesla's Stamping Machine Tesla regularly collaborates with various suppliers and partners, occasionally shifting or expanding its supplier base based on its evolving manufacturer needs and strategies. The company often invests in customized or modified machinery to suit its unique production needs and maintain a competitive edge. This could include custom-built stamping machines or adapted equipment tailored to the specific requirements of their vehicle designs. Of course, Tesla tends to keep many specifics about its manufacturing equipment and processes confidential for proper reasons, but there have been various reports about Tesla using customized stamping machines for IDRA, the Italian company that's among the leaders in this field. But this practice may have ended because Tesla has been working on developing its own large-scale stamping machines, which will be used for manufacturing various products, including body panels and other components of the Cybertruck. However, details about Tesla's large stamping machine weren't presented in public reports, even though it's no secret that Tesla has been investing a lot in advanced 
advanced manufacturing techniques and techniques to streamline production, improve efficiency, and cut production costs. And as you may presume, large stamping machines play a crucial role in this whole process. In the case of the Cybertruck, these massive machines are designed to handle that cold rolled stainless steel we talked about and precisely stamp it into the angular and complex shapes that characterize Cybertruck's unique exterior. Sledgehammer Test Back in 2019, when the Cybertruck was still years away from serial production, Tesla released an interesting video in order to showcase durability and other benefits of the new alloy that's used in the production of Cybertruck. The company's chief designer, Franz von Holzassoon, used a sledgehammer in a demonstration that meant to show everyone how tough this pickup was. Von Holzassoon showcased the durability of the truck's exterior by hitting the door with a sledgehammer in order to highlight the strength of the vehicle's outer shell, made from the ultra-hard cold-rolled stainless steel we talked about. Of course, the sledgehammer strikes caused some visible dents on the door. However, it didn't penetrate or shatter the materials, which only confirmed Musk's claims about the resilience of the new steel alloy. To put it in simple words, this test was conducted to emphasize the toughness and durability of the Cybertruck's body panels, suggesting their ability to withstand significant impact without sustaining severe damage, and also to emphasize the pickup's capability to handle tough conditions and other potential challenging scenarios in real-world use. Tesla Cybertruck Specifications the Cybertruck's unique look certainly won't be the only strong selling point, as its specifications clearly suggest that it will exceed or at least be on par with any pickup on the market. So the bulletproof body will come in combination with lots of other advanced technologies, starting from a pretty impressive powertrain lineup. For now, Tesla has prepared two variants with two or three electric motors. The base version with a single electric motor will be added in 2025. Meanwhile, the less powerful dual motor version will feature all wheel drive and a total output of 600 horsepower, which is enough for zero to 60 in just 3.9 seconds. And if that's not fast enough, for you, the tri-motor version puts out 845 horsepower and literally teleports this truck from 0 to 60 in just 2.6 seconds with a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Another important part of the Cybertruck's design is the suspension setup. All variants of the pickup will come standard with adjustable air suspension and according to Musk, it can be raised or lowered on the fly with the maximum ground clearance going all the way up to 17 inches. Combined with a 35 degree approach and 28 degree departure angles, this promises some pretty respectable off-road potential. When it comes to capabilities, the Cybertruck will be on par or better than the key rivals. Of course, we will start with the towing capacity, which goes up to 11,000 pounds with dual and tri-motor models, which is 1,000 pounds more compared to the F-150 Lightning. The base single motor version will be good for about 7,500 pounds, which is pretty much on par with the base version version of Ford's electric pickup. As for the payload, Tesla's pickup will be able to haul up to 2,500 pounds and will come with a respectable size 6.4 foot composite cargo bed. As we are talking about the all-electric pickup, we can't skip batteries in range. Tesla has always been mysterious with numbers, but EPA estimates that the Cybertruck's battery is good for about 122.2 kilowatt hour, which will be enough for 340 miles on a single charge with the dual motor version. In case you decide to pick up the high performance tri motor version, commonly known as Cyber Beast, expect a maximum autonomy of around 320 miles. Tesla will also offer a range extender battery pack installed in the cargo bed, which will increase the max range to 470 and 440 miles respectively. Finally, a few words about the interior design, which will feature a super minimalist look, even by Tesla's standards, other than a massive 18.5 inch infotainment screen mounted at the center stack, there won't be much on a super clean dashboard design. A futuristically designed steering wheel is another highlight of this cabin that accommodates six people, while the rear passengers will also enjoy the convenience of a 9.4 inch touchscreen. The dual motor version will feature a starting price of around $81,000, while the tri motor Cyber Beast is expected to go around $101,000. Details about the entry-level single-motor version, which is about to come in 2025, are yet to be disclosed. Thanks for watching and see you next time!